Hello, 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 and welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. What do you think of that one? Yeah, good. It was better? Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to deal what with What are you kind of looking for in like a better introduction? Oh, I don't know, I don't care anymore. What no. do you mean you don't care anymore? I don't care, it's fine. Um, You're being so gothic about this. No, 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 no I'm trying. You can't give me a note and be like, I don't care. Timer's going? Yeah. Amazing. What time, what is the first read today, Ginsburg? Okay. I got an invite to the Good Burger 2 world premiere. What? I don't know. Really? You and a guest are invited it? to join us in New York on Tuesday, November 14th, for the world premiere of Good Burger 2, the highly anticipated film sequel to the cult classic 90s film and Paramount original movie. Is Are they getting, uh, what's his name back for it? The fat uh, pedophile guy? Who? The Nickelodeon pedophile fat guy. The one that, Dan Schneider. Yeah, wasn't he in Good Burger? He's like the fact. He's like the fry cook or something. Oh yeah, he wrote the movie too. I or think. he wrote it. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, dealing with black magic, we have to get that camera sent off. Wait, let's get back to this Good Burger thing though. Uh huh. What do you think? They said you had a guest. Yeah. Who are you thinking for a guest? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out why I got sent this email. I think they just like send this email to anybody with a certain amount of Instagram followers. I didn't get the email. Hoping that uh, somebody would reply. Like an influencer. I think I ate rotten roast beef this morning, too. From, like, the deli? From the deli, but it had been in my fridge for, like, three weeks. No, you can't eat it. Why'd you eat it? Because it's, like, three weeks of cured meat. I don't know. I figured it would last. No, it's not not three weeks. How long? I think you get a good week out of a boar's head deli. I don't know. I'm at my wit's end. I'm fucking burnt out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about it. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Life. Yeah. Yeah. What to do when one is burnt out. Mm-hmm. Maybe you should go on like an eat, pray, love type. I'm going to, I'm going to like, I'm like tired of, uh, these cameras don't work either. So this is going to be like a new issue. Everything just doesn't work. Yeah. Nothing works. I got the new iPhone. It deleted all of my message history. I pay for that shit. I pay for the fucking iCloud. Yeah. They fuck you in the ass on the cost of the iCloud. Mm-hmm. And like, okay, because the phone doesn't has, has limited storage. Yeah. So you get the iCloud one and there's like chat history on there. I'm getting text messages from people yeah. that are like just following up on this. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about because it's all gone. Uh-huh. And, and then when they you t- say that, I lost they made all me my messages. A- They're like, oh, he's lying to me. He thinks that I suck. Yeah, right. Yeah. No. I got the new phone. That was like the issue. Titanium. I called them. You have to do like nine conversations with phone support. Uh-huh. And then they tell you, oh, well, you just have to wait until we update the yeah. iOS. So I waited a month, updated. Mm-hmm. Guess what? It's still fucking missing. Guess what the new answer is? What's the answer? Take a guess. Uh, You're going to have to wait for a new iOS update. Oh. So they just kicked the can down the road. Okay. Now that's all gone. But you you'll spend get all this your money shit back? On uh, probably not ever. They're yeah. just—it's the biggest company in the world, so you're just fucked in the ass. But maybe it's good. Maybe you like uh, set free your past. No, it's not. When I'm like completely disorganized and we have like advertisers know, yeah. mad, and I have to like no. Somehow, we got into a position where we can do the things that we want, and I have zero fucking time for it. I have zero time for it because it's it's just just business and paperwork shit constantly. Yeah. And then yeah, you yeah, hire somebody right. else to do it. And then, and then you have up. to just talk to them all fucking day long yeah. about what needs to be done. And then you have to like... Uh, and then check their work. Check their work. I mean, it's yeah. like... Yeah. They, well, I'll damn. give you some good news mm-hmm. to make you feel better. Um, because of massive public pressure, kind of a people's revolution, um, the Delta Sky, Sky Lounge uh, will be granting 20 visits. Next They're going to get rid of those. The Mossad is going to do a domestic terrorist Nick, attack and blame it on ISIS. Because of your, because of your, uh-huh. a, the attention that you brought to this cause. There will be no, I guarantee you. You are the change after, that you after, sought. After the impending Mossad false flag terrorist attack in the United States, coming soon, soon. It'll happen soon. Yeah, it's, it's satire, satire, yeah. Satir- I, no, satirical, I'm, I'm, I'm bet, I'm placing the satirical, a bet. The, the satir- I, in, in, in Warcraft, or what's it called? Yeah. What's the, with the blocks? Mm. 
What do the kids play? Look, the, the most in evil, the most evil uh, people in Washington right now are freaking out. Uh-huh. Right? They're like, look. Who are those people? B- b- we've, we've, Cruella we've, DeVille. We've fucked up. Now, like, the voting base is all just far-right people and far-left yes. people. Right. And neither of them. I don't think there are actually far-left people. I think there are beaten-down people and far-right people. Okay. Who, what's the far left? I don't know. Good point. Wait, I, I wasn't saying that to not, no and you. Mm-hmm. No, that's a good point. You think it's a good point or not? Yeah, no, that's a good point. No, you're being yeah. sarcastic. No, right? I'm not being sarcastic. No. I think people are just mainly beaten down. They're m- beaten down, yeah. Why are you doing this, Ryan? Why am I doing what? No, you're doing What do that. you think is going to happen? Um... People just do more opioids, mm-hmm. Mandalorian. Mandalorian opioids. Yeah. And shit will get worse steadily. Probably. I mean, it's usually the most boring answer that's the correct answer, right? Okay. What? Why am I, what, what, what's the response? What response If you what? think I'm wrong, say I'm wrong. No, that's... It's, Does that sound right? Sure, it sounds right, yeah. What do you think? I don't know. I was saying what I thought. And then you kept saying, no, 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 no. Everything I said, you said no to. No, just one thing. No, you said every, literally everything I said. You said the impending no. Mossad attack. You and said then no. I did a little bit no, about... No, you said no I did that. a bit about how it was in a and video you said the game. most evil people. And you said, yeah, who is that? And then you don't... You just... Like, yeah, you're, that you're was right. a question. Yeah, you are right. That's not a no. That's a question. No, it's a no. Yeah. It's all right. It's fine. Nick, we don't have to talk know. about it. No, we don't have to talk about it. It's fine. Talk about what? What do you want to talk about? What's going on with you? You're going to a wedding this weekend? What do you mean? Wait, no. Talk about what? If I'm asking you a question about something you're saying, that's a no. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know shit. We just have to fill an hour. We just have to talk for an hour. Come on, bro. And I have to spend a bunch of time trying to figure out why this shit doesn't work and figure out how much more money that we don't have we're going to have to spend on stuff that was just supposed to work. Come on, brother. Come on what? What do you want to talk about? You're with your friend right now. And now you're going to do this, like, weird... It's not weird. Like, yeah. Why? The camera sucks. Things... Life sucks. Yeah, yeah you're right, dude. What but I get to go to the Sky Lounge 20 times next year. That's awesome. Okay? So I'm happy some you. nice things happen sometimes. That's true. You know? Yeah. What other nice things are happening? Let's think about nice things in the world. I don't know. I'll probably replace that deli meat when I go home. Yeah. You'll get more deli meat mm-hmm. from the store. But I don't know, it all kind of sucks. I've had all the different types of boar's head meats, and none of them are good. I mean, they're better than, like, the other... Do you other. like honey turkey or pepper turkey? I, I've gone through... I've, I'm, like, sick of, like, deli meats at this point. I'm yeah. just sick of them. I've had them all. And, I mean, it's still better than, you know, you go to... I guess, like, the only good ones are boar's head and... What's the one in Philadelphia? Like, Dietz? Is that it? I don't know. I don't know. That's their regional meat. Because you go to some places in the country, like the Midwest, and they have, you know, it's like it's like attached to like grocery store, yeah, yeah, chains, uh-huh. um, whatever their meat brand is, and some of them are fucking rancid, disgusting. Yeah. When I was growing up, I remember Boar's Head was like special. That was like the nice meat. Mm-hmm. Like you had to go to. There was only one supermarket that had Boar's Head, and it was more expensive. But, like, yeah, the, the Vaughn's version was, like, nowhere near as good. But here we are in New York City. We get as much boar's head as we want, mm-hmm. and we're still not happy. And isn't that a metaphor for life? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's going on. What, else, what other nice things? Nice things? Yeah. I don't know. I got a carpet cleaner trying to clean my rug. You got a steam cleaner? You've been talking about it's this for a, a while? It's not a steam cleaner. It's just a regular carpet cleaner. To a vacuum? Clean. No, a carpet cleaner. What's the difference? It has, like, water. It's not steam. It's just got a water tank in it. Oh, and water like, cleaner. Yeah, it's like it'll shampoo the carpet. Is it a Bissell? Uh, no, it's just the Hoover one. Um, that seemed to make the most sense for the price. But I got that, and... Uh, and you're clean seeing my, results. Clean the rug, and then I guess it, in getting wet, it released some kind of fucking. There was an old stain, <laughs> like I don't know, maybe like like a bowl of cereal spilled over. Okay. Rug. So there was this rancid smell, and then there's no way to clean that, so the rug's destroyed. <laughs> I'm sorry so, to laugh. I'm yeah. sorry to laugh. Yeah. 
No, when you're feeling bad sometimes, life just will kick you in the balls with like a little extra, uh-huh. oh, now your your uh, rug smells like a spoiled milk. Yeah, I yeah. guess um, we're closing in on trying to get like the final edit of this special. Yes. So I can drop that. And the new episode of the Adam Freeland Show will be out in the next couple of days. It's done. We're very happy with it. Excited? I know you don't like one of those. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Um, I saw Killers of the Flower, flower uh, whatever, Moon. That's nice. You want to talk about it? Yeah, it's a, it really was too long. Like it's this too time, long. it was too long. Yeah. What's it, was, it about? I watched the trailer. I can't tell what that is. It's about the about Osage Nation in Oklahoma who uh, they find uh, black gold and they become the richest people on earth. Apparently it's true. Uh-huh. And then a bunch of like uh, white fellers are like intermarrying into it to like uh, get part, you know, get in on a little bit of that cash, you know. And uh, then uh, they start getting killed, basically. White people? Or the Native Americans? It's a white genocide. No, the mm. Native Americans, yeah. And uh, Robert De Niro plays uh, Leo's uncle, who's like a kind of orchestrating the killings of all of the sisters of his wife. Mm-hmm. So kind, that, of, kind of poor timing that that came out right during the Israel-Palestine. I mean, it's, it's bizarre. Yeah, 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 it is bizarre. Well, that's the argument that the Zionists are making, it, which is that we live on stolen indigenous land, so why mm-hmm. can't they do it? Which is bizarre to me, because yeah. I keep seeing, like, the, the, like, Israel made that, like, apparently privately, with, like, the the U.S. State Department when talking about what's going to happen in Gaza, because they have to have meetings about this, is that Israel said to them, they're, they're like, well, you're going to have to watch the civilian casualties. And they said, yeah, but, you know, if you look in history, there's a lot of examples of, uh, you know, just needing to just drive forward, you know, like Dresden or Hiroshima. Mm-hmm. It's like, well, yeah, but these are universally recognized as bad things that happened in history. Yes. Like, you can't, yes. if you're using, Hiro- I mean, what's the difference between... It is the worst thing ever. It's, 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 it's the worst thing ever. It's insane. Yes. It's like, it's this far away from just being like, yeah, but look at Auschwitz. I mean, that's something that happened. You're yeah, just descri- sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You're just describing a bad thing that happened yeah. and saying, yeah, well, we might do that. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's like, they, 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 under, they had to kill 3,000 people. Are they under the impression that people were like, yeah, Hiroshima was good? <laughs> I mean, it's like, what? <laughs> it's not a good argument. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, also, yeah, with the stolen land thing here, if there was a way, like if we were currently living in it, if, if, let's say what, like a third of the United States was Indian reservations that were literally walled off with barbed wire, Right, and we controlled all their resources, and every couple of years they broke out and fucking blew themselves up. And I had dual citizenship with a European country that I could just go to. Uh-huh. I would absolutely just fucking leave. Right, I would leave. Also, a third of the country being reservations—that's so nice. Yeah, we just gave them Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah. Oh, also, I didn't know that there were like five. Uh, there was a word for the tribe, like noble tribes. Mm-hmm. And the Osage were not considered one of them. They were like the Cherokee, the Seminole. They were like other ones. There were like five that were like, we respect you, even though we sent you on the Trail of Tears. Uh huh. Um, but like what you see in the movie is so horrific. And like De Niro's character is so fucking evil. But it's just portrayed like the tone is off. Mm-hmm. It's not like, it should be scarier. You know, it's very like matter of fact almost. Really? Yeah. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. People, the people looked, seem to like the movie. The trailer had a scary tone now. The it. trailer was awesome. The trailer was really cool. Um, but, yeah, De Niro kind of sucks nowadays. Yeah, I mean, you can make any movie look scary if you just put add, like, clock sounds to the trailer. Clock sounds are scary. I mean, that's it. You just yeah. play any trailer and add, like... Yeah. You know, like I'm the, scared right now. Right, exactly. Yeah. And it's scary. Yes, <laughs> Nick, stop it. Uh, Halloween's over. Yeah. Um, but it is... It, Today's episode is brought to oh, you yeah. by Lucy. Lucy. Lucy makes tobacco-free nicotine for people more to focus this. better. They Think said, deeper, chill out smoother, and inspire creativity. They, they sent us, us more? Yeah. But it's not eight milligrams. 
I don't, they might have sent the, I think they sent the... You got t- like the fucking like pro baseball No, 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 out. I think this time they sent the like the 12. The milligram. 12? Because that's the one when we did the uh, pre... Who's on 12s? Ginsburg, do you know where the Lucy stuff went? I know they sent us another box, but I think I might have misplaced it. Anyways, talk about it for a second. Um, uh, it increases alertness, attention, and mood. It helps you focus better, think deeper, inspire creativity, and relax. And Lord knows I love to do that. Um, what makes it unique? 100% pure tobacco-free nicotine. Basically, these are pouches. Like a, I don't know if this is a word we're allowed to use. Don't. Oh, here it is. Okay, so yeah, I'm allowed to say it. It's like a snooze pouch. Uh, but these are, instead of uh, like a typical snooze pouch, these are flavored. And the, the flavors, folks, are some of the best flavors I can imagine. Cinnamon, mint, mango, wintergreen, pomegranate, apple ice, and espresso. Um, no tobacco in any of their products. Uh, folks, you see us using nicotine products all the time, and you don't want no part of... I quit vaping, by the way. I know. I, I feel um, I'm Mazel definitely way more stressed out and depressed and, and scared. And, <laughs> and, I'm eating, and eating more. I'm eating more. Way more peanut M&Ms, I've noticed. Uh, um, okay, so they have two different types. They oh, have, this is nice. No, these guys, look, these guys actually like the show. It says, uh, Nick and Adam, that was the best read you've had since that one that made a boot company shit themselves in terror. Did we talk about, like, the Holocaust? The boot I company? forget. Yeah, something about, like, Thursday boots being made out of... <laughs> <laughs> something like that. <laughs> when the, um, when the stormtroopers tr- are invading yeah. with their Okay, jacket. oh, no, this, this is what this is. This is the gum. Cause remember the last Let's time? Let's try it out. They didn't send us the gum. You're off the nicotine. I'll, I'll try it out. I, I mean, I don't mind having... I can try gum. Um, you know, you know it's like I don't Famous think, last words. Nick. As long as it doesn't lead me back into vaping. Vaping, guys, it's a bad look. All right. So do you want purple or do you want green? Don't answer. You want the purple. Yeah, of course. Barney style. Yeah. You know I'd, I'd be loving the Barney show. Or yellow. What is this? So they got Berry three flavors. Citrus. Three flavors of gum. They have Barney, they have PP, and they have uh, green. What? <laughs> Barney, PP, and green? Yeah. This, this is one just... looks like it was chewed a bit. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Stop saying shit like well, that. Well, it's a little dented. That's why we that, have to do That's, that's why we have to do it's natural, because these are natural. That's why we have to do an entire week's worth of make goods, because you keep Listen, saying that was, that was that was both of us. Mm-hmm. You're going berry? Oh, that's pretty good. All right, I'm just going to pretend it doesn't have nicotine in it. Yeah, like you're at Lover's Lane with your friend Adam. Mm-hmm. What? And we're holding hands. All right, yeah. Okay, so this is two milligram. Two is chill. Yeah. Um, two is for babies, basically. It's not oh, wait, for babies. We got more. No, these babies. are... Okay, so these are all their flavors. So they, had, they have... Obviously, they got PP, Barney, and green, like we said. In red, that's uh, Cowboys. Marlboro, yeah. Marlboro Reds. Yeah, these are Marlboro branded smart thing to say. Oh, my. Uh, in, in Warcraft. What mm-hmm. is it? In, what's the game? In Warcraft. What is the game? Warcraft. You say, I can't. You know what I would love to do is rape and murder Amy Schumer in Warcraft. What is it? No, it's the other one. The one with the blocks. Legos? No, the video game with the blocks for babies. Legos? It's a video game. I mean, Legos does have video games. Some of the best video games, honestly. Um, Minecraft. Minecraft, not Warcraft. Okay. Yeah. yeah, in Minecraft, this is... In sp- Minecraft. This is sponsored by... <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Red is sim- sim- cinnamon. 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 Very nice. Okay, so guys, whether you use nicotine to focus better, (coughs) get a boost in energy, or to chill and relax, Lucy is made for your nicotine routine. Um, If you want to try Lucy's tobacco-free breakers, pouches, or gum, and we're chewing the gum right now. Look at that, and it goes nicely. You can use the gum also. On a terminal. uh, Yeah, if you're um, putting together little data jacks, you can use the gum to um, put it in there. Um, 
This gum tastes good. And the Honestly, gum. it's good it gum. It does taste good. It's good gum. Um, I, just um, don't, I just don't really want to be chewing gum right now. I'm already having trouble speaking. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep chewing because I'm getting a really chill and relaxed vibe going. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so Lucy offers. So, oh, sorry. If you want to try Lucy's tobacco-free breakers, pouches, and gums, you go to lucy.co/tafs and use promo code tafs to get 20% off your first order. That's a fucking great deal. They got great brand. It's I, like I said last time. 20% off is a big. It's worth it, even for the. The paper. It's nice. I like that. Green. My cousin's birthday's coming up. Guess what? Guess who's? Guess what's gonna be? <laughs> guess who's getting just this? Well, I, I gotta. I I actually want to take some of those. Do you? To where? To this wedding I'm going to. Oh yeah. You're gonna yeah. do. You're gonna do a promo for Lucy at the wedding. Yeah. I gotta. I gotta get the word out. I, I have to evangelize Lucy. Lucy offers free shipping. Has 30-day refund policy if you change your mind, and that's L-U-C-Y dot C-O. C-O, folks, not, not an M. That's Lima, Umbrella, Charlie. Why? Well, uh, yellow? Yiddish. Yellow? Yellow. C? No, what's Y in the Yalta in the NATO alphabet? Yalta. Is it Yalta? It's one of my favorite treaties. Yalta was? Or the, uh... Summit. Potsdam? I love the I love the summit. You love Yalta or Potsdam? Yalta was cool because Churchill was wasted. Weren't they being mean to Roosevelt? Who, Stalin and Stalin and Churchill. They were like punking him a bit. In what way? I'm like gonna put in broomsticks in his wheelchair. I'm gonna read Churchill next. I think that's my next history book that I'm gonna read. Now that I'm done with Roosevelt. Yeah, you're done with Roosevelt? Book one. What's I, got, your I got the idea. What's your favorite fact about Roosevelt? Um, Teddy Roosevelt. I like that he um, he's re- he's really smart. He really he was a, he was annoying too. He had ADD. I like that he invited a black guy to the White House. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, M- Michael Winslow. Yeah, he was like this man's side yeah, of it. Yeah. Sound sound effect. My friends, we must listen to this mentally disabled black man's <laughs> noises, for they will unite. A divided people <laughs> under a love of sound effects. Um, just like all the excursions, that kind of shit was cool. All the excursions. Like when he went up the, the Rio, when he like, yeah, when he would go to the West, when he went to Spain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was just, his body sucked, right? And they were like, that boy is going to be, a, uh, have, he has a bad body. And his dad told him, he's like, you have a bad body. And you need to make yourself into a man. And so he had that whole thing about a vigorous life. And so he like had to build himself up and he was just, he was insane. He would like swim like five miles. Like he'd do, he'd do literally like a triathlon every day. And then he'd, uh, yeah. And then do like a parliamentary style insult. When he took over the cops was cool too. He was head of the police in New York City. Do you know about this? Are you asleep now? Well, I'll tell them about it. So he took over the cops, and he was like, uh, you guys have to be in shape if you want to be cops. So he, was, he instituted uh, fitness standards. He got those... Uh, he only got pussy twice. There were two girls. He loved animals. There were a bunch of animals in the White House. That's pretty cool. Teddy bears are named after him. Teddy bears are named after him. He got, he got shot famously and kept giving that speech. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was kind of the first progressive in American history. Mm-hmm. Although, if you ask the Filipinos, wasn't Taft the first progressive? Taft, I think all, all anyone knows about him is that he was fat as shit. No, mm. you got stuck in the bathtub or some shit. Mm. Taft was a Republican, I thought. No, yeah, but the Republicans were progressive. Yeah, but well, he left and he started well, he, Bull Moose and the Progressive Party uh-huh. also. But he was, uh, yeah, he was, he was sick. He was awesome. He read a book a day and then periodicals. And every time he was done with a, a page in a magazine, he'd tear it out and throw it dramatically. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think he's sick. Not like his cripple. Do you think he did that all the time or that's the thing he did once and then it became like... No, I think oh, he was he a, I think he was a weirdo. He would I think, always tear pages. 
I think he was a weirdo, and I think he was annoying. Anyways, folks, get get yourself yes, some Lucy. Yes, go to Lucy. Either the pouches. We don't. I, I don't know. The pouches are around here somewhere in the office. These we have the, pouches and breakers in the office, and those are awesome. I'll tell you that. The breakers are cool. But verbatim, I'm gonna read this. The the breakers are cool because it makes me feel like I'm kitted out. Yeah. Kitted out and ready to carry. Well, it's like breaker breaker, like uh, you're doing radio communication. You could put that in your kit if you're one of these like uh, these like pocket fascists. Oh, you know like I mean? your daily carry guy? Yeah, one of yeah. these guys whose who's politics is they have Wallets. items. Yeah. They got fucking items that they yeah. bring with them. <laughs> um, you go, you wake up, you make your black yeah. rifle coffee. Well, I can't I, wait until the world burns. Well, before that, I have to verbatim, I have yeah. to read. Um, and here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, and every order is va- age verified. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Mm -hmm. Don't I know it, brother. Okay. So, yeah, Lucy. Hit him up, lucy.co slash T-A-F-S. And we like these guys because they they like us. I like it also because it's a girl name, too. It's nice because we have new sponsors on the show. Yeah. And you don't really know what you're going to get. I was a little bit worried with them because it's like it looks clean. You know, uh-huh. when, the, when the sponsors are like, yeah, we're, we're operating out of the Philippines. Basically, I got busted in PA for having sex with a kid. So I moved <laughs> to Southeast Asia and now I own a, a company that sells weed swastikas. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, well, we can say whatever we want. Yeah, yeah. You know, but like they, they're bringing us these newer companies. and You rejected that law firm in Miami, right? Yeah. I wish we did that. Tim works with them. That would have been awesome. I don't know. It just seems like it would. If we were doing Salino and Barnes on this on this uh, show, it'd be yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, all the money's all the money's leaving advertising. It's leaving podcasting. Yeah, the business is failing, guys. That's mainly we're really stressed out. But the new episode of the Adam Freeland Show will be. Uh, yeah, look, we'll we'll do our best. It's to a get good this. episode, dude. The next one is good. We'll do our best to get these out before the, um, you know, all the cameras finish breaking and. And we run out of money. False flag. And then I think I might just get a <laughs> regular job. Like what? I don't know, but I definitely don't want to be touring. You're going to be like... Anyways. And your fucking boss telling you what to do, you're going to be so pissed off at your regular job. Yeah, that was fine. But then I'd get off and I wouldn't have to worry about anything. Where are you going to work? Duncan? Um, no, I don't think I could work I at think Duncan. Dunkin'. Dunkin' Donuts? You love those boys. No, that, you know I'm, I'm not going to have every some Dunkin' in New York City. Yeah, yeah it's right. Bangladeshi guys. No. Yeah. no, I'll find a fun job. Like what? I don't know. I'm trying to, th- like, um, maybe the guy that drives the hayride. Haunted hayride guy? No, no, just regular hayride. Oh, I only know about it from Halloween. Yeah, tractor, drive around the hayride. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe I'll move to just, yeah, the Hudson Valley and just do. Uh, it's expensive. I know, but then just get a job at one of those general stores. You know oh, those yeah. places? Where it's, it's just an empty bu- No, it's nothing. You go in, they have it's like a... Williamsburg, a, yeah. Yeah, well, they have like a box of salt, like artisan saltines on a shelf. And then uh-huh. Netflix, 15 feet away, there's a single rhubarb, uh-huh. you know? Yeah. And then you go in, you're like, do you have batteries? And you're like, we sure do. And you're like, all right, do you have uh, cheese? They're like, no. I'm like, where can I get like milk and cheese? They're like, no idea, pal. We got a maybe rhubarb. Go, we got a rhubarb, and we got the fucking batteries that look like coins. Yeah, maybe go over down Poughkeepsie, 40, 40 minutes down the road. And they have that accent for no reason. Yeah, they're yeah. upstate, and you're like, I thought you're in. New well, York. this is just a regular Stewart's shops. <laughs> we ain't got nothing fancy <laughs> like you city folk. City, yeah, I lived here eighteen months. Yeah, now. I, spe- I speak. I speak New York Cajun. <laughs> Forget a booty. Forget a booty. That'd be a good yes. style of guy to be, is a New guy York with just an untrackable accent. Yeah. Who je gets suis, mad when you ask where he's from. Je, je suis Italian. <laughs> <laughs> je, what, what would they say? I don't know. New York Cajuns? I don't yeah. know if I've ever met a Ma Cajun mon in my life. Yeah. Do you know a Cajun? Have you uh-huh. ever met one? Yeah. When? In Texas? No, in Louisiana. When we were there? I mean, festival? I've been there aside from, I have a life outside of the Adam Freeland show. You know that, right? I've been to Louisiana plenty. What else do you do? Huh? 
That That's festival that you did, I, I did that festival every year for years. Hell Yes Fest. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That was fun. It was, yeah. Yeah, I guess you could say that. It was fun. It was before you had a cell phone. I mean, I had a cell phone. I just didn't have, like, a smartphone. I didn't have, like, text messaging. I remember we were sitting in a room with Sarah, and you were like, can I use your iPad? And you were just dropping... You're just like silently just uh, dropping, you drop like 20 tweets. Just fire. And I'd be like, Nick, how are you doing? You're both. I'm just borrowing an iPad. Yeah, on Sarah's iPad. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe, I I'll, maybe I'll become like a graffiti artist. How do you get paid from that though? I don't know, Banksy does it. Yeah, but he's like the best of, He's. I mean, he's the best one I've ever seen, mm -hmm. you know? He's, the man is an institution. It yeah. sucks, man. You really get locked into being a thing, and nobody enjoys being the thing that they are. I just have to be this. There's the rest no, of my life. there is literally no end. Look at fucking what's his name, Prince. What's his face with the black wife? Oh, Prince. Uh, yeah. Which one have you seen? The red, red hair. Yeah, the, yeah. and he's like, I don't want to be your king. Yeah. It's like that's like the best job. <laughs> There's no bad. That's the top spot. But he has to get a job now, right? Because he's not in the. In and then band. he and he won't. I think he's podcast. No, they fucking they <laughs> got a, they got a deal and they didn't. They like blew it. <laughs> that was like, oh, that was their version of yeah. what I'm doing. It's like, oh, I'm not gonna be a king. I'm gonna be a podcaster. You know how he does? How he found out about? Also, his I, wife? Found, I found a very funny video what? online. Yeah. Some Australian guy that found out about Palestine, and he just went. He to, said it to me. Uh, yeah, he yeah. just went to Israel. And it's just this big Australian retard just going, <laughs> just going up to people. You're and racist. Like, he's like, he's like, you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. <laughs> look at you. You can't even fucking look at the camera, can you? <laughs> you fucking dickhead. <laughs> he's just not afraid of anything. We need Australians to go there and yell at them to yeah. cut it out. Mm -hmm. Look at this fucking dickhead. Yeah, he's like, how long you lived here? Yeah, he's like, you can't the even. Guy has like a New you York, can't even fuck it. They just can't. He has a Brooklyn it. accent. Yeah. No, no, a bunch of Americans were there. They're like, <laughs> sure, but I mean, he's Australian, so it's just yeah. like the absurdity. Where was it? Hebron. Uh huh. Hebron. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. There was a. There was a terrorist attack there. Like, Why well, can't the fucking Palestinians go across the street? Do you know about Baruch Goldstein? Yeah, he's the guy that shot up those like twenty six. The kids. cave of the cave of what do you call it? The cave, cave of, of Adam's Pella. asshole. It's not a cave, dude. Yeah. You've seen my asshole mad. Times. Brooke Goldstein. That was the American, right? He went in and he murdered like 26 Palestinians. Yeah, he just fucking opened up. Yeah. yeah. He's psycho. Mm hmm. Goldstein. Yeah, he was American. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. And what do you think that's cool? What? Who are the worst, who are the worst in, in Hollywood right now for defending Israel? It's got to be Amy Schumer, Adam Friedland. Um, Brett Gelman. Why are you putting me on that? You guys are the top three. No, I'm just going to see how this plays out. And then I'll... I'm going to see how it plays out. <laughs> some people are really not playing their cards right right now. Some you got to see are, how it plays out. Some people are being very dumb. Listen, that, this is, I'm made for this, guys. I'm yeah. built different. I got that dog in me. Mm -hmm. And if I've learned anything in life, you got to see how things play out. Look, there's there's two options. You can actually speak truth to power, mm -hmm. or you can pursue a job in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are the two options. Yep. If you try to do both... You could be a razzle-dazzle man. Point, yeah, at some point, you're going to have to sell your soul to work in the business that famously harbors pedophiles. Uh -huh. you well, know? we got rid of all of them. Right, Thank sure. God. They're yeah. all gone now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely no more sexual assault in the entertainment industry. I haven't heard of one since uh, since the Babe.com Aziz article. Um, um, yeah, no, I but that happened to him. what's that? I forgot that happened to him. Yeah, that poor guy. Yeah, I felt really bad for him. Yeah. Can you imagine if that article comes out about you? I wouldn't care. What would they say? I don't know. What like, would you, what would they say about you? They'd be like. People already hate me. I don't, like, understand what... Yeah. You know what I mean? Nobody's yeah. going to be like, what? That's a bad guy. You're good guy. to women. I'm I mean, just you don't listen to them. I'm good you, to women. You don't listen to them, but you don't I'm good to women in the, in the same way that I'm good to cats. <laughs> it's like... They're, you're not like that We're both guy, occupying though. the same space, yeah. you know? 
No, but you're not like a predator. And I'll look predator. over at them occasionally and be like, I wonder what this piece of shit is thinking. Yeah. What could possibly be on their mind? Yeah, chopping, chopping, chopping. Yeah, maybe something, yeah, like, something that. like that. It's like, do they think I'm a cat? Amy Schumer is really just, apparently she, they said it's been 50 Instagram posts. She's done 50? That's, that's heavy posting. Yeah. Well, she's just that's straight up. That's hard posting. She's just being just racist now. Yeah. Like, did you see she posted that thing that was like, uh, she posted some article like demonstrating that, that these top donations at these schools were. Yeah, from, from Arabs. From Arabs. Yeah. Which it's like, yeah, they're from fucking Saudis in Does the UAE. Does she understand that Arabs have killed so many Palestinians also? Oh, right. Well, beyond that. It's not that, just Team Arab. But beyond that, the, the, half of the Arabs are allied with Israel anyways. Yeah, they yeah. have diplomatic relations. Uh, unofficial, I guess, still yeah. diplomatic relations with the I guess the they're all State. the same. Yeah, the Arabs yeah. from Arabs. And then Meghan McCain posting that, like, uh, she's like, she posted it. Would you hide me? It's, yeah, yes, I would. Would you hide me? I think Meghan McCain's already hiding a bunch of people simply by standing there. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be, at any given moment, there has to be five to six hundred people behind <laughs> Meghan McCain that you can't see. <laughs> you wouldn't need a secret annex. They could just put Anne Frank behind her giant fucking ass. She'd be like, she'd just have to be like one of those birds that lives on top of a rhino. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. This behavior is fucking just, it's like egregious. I mean, it's wild. It's crazy that it goes It's one fucking way. wild. Yeah. You and it's can like say one thing and then lose everything, and then you could say what she's doing, and then she's fine. Yeah. Well, even then, it's like, but that's I I I don't even want to get because it it's that's that that's not justice. Oh, we live in a world where they like you know you can call if you like if you if you do cheerlead the genocide, you lose should, your job. I'm not I don't saying give a fuck about people in the West losing right. their jobs or keeping their jobs. Also, it doesn't matter what comedians think about anything. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not like. Like, uh, it's, it, they I'm not saying she should lose her job. I'm just saying that everyone else that's saying anything mildly uh, on the other, from the other side uh, yeah, is it's, getting blackballed. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it's, it's, it's uh, especially when it's like protects you from what? The fucking like eight-year-old Palestinian boy that was fucking stabbed to death three, years, three weeks ago? Like that seems to be the only hate crime I've seen thus far related to what's going on right now. I mean, you can argue that the Hamas attack could have, you know, people were shot at the bus stops and stuff. I mean, that's technically... No, I mean here. Oh, in America? Yeah, in the United oh, States. Oh, the kid in Chicago, yeah. Yeah, the kid that was in Chicago or Detroit? I thought Chicago. I can't remember. The fact that it was a No, landlord. you know what was in Detroit is that, that uh, it was like a cantor or something. It was the head of, like, the Jewish community. And then that was, like, pitched as, like, oh, see? And then it turned out... But it was, out like, was Rashida like, Tlaib got shit from it, from... Uh, some people, and uh, yeah, you'll figure out why I said that. Why? No, nothing. What? We'll cut that. Why? Because. Oh. Yeah. He was like, "Where's your statement on this, Rashida Tlaib?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she posted about it on her Facebook. Uh huh. Anyway, we'll mark that. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, and it turned out Rashida Tlaib and her were friends. And they like worked together. Uh huh. On like interfaith shit, but like beyond that. What is, what is like, I think maybe the, f the funniest is that Schumer is just now going into black women's DMs to yell at them. That, is, that was insane. Mm -hmm. Who is that lady that she was just like, uh, just losing her mind at? Do uh, you see that? Yeah, it's just some act, some like 22 year old girl. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm sorry you have a problem with me posting about my people being hunted down and killed. She's like, I've worked for everything. I'm a self-made millionaire and the most successful female comedian. Self-made is funny because of the joke theft thing, too. Yeah. <laughs> self-made. She's a, She got a couple of assists over the uh -huh. years, from what I understand. Well, I mean, she's self-made in the sense that she did eat all that food. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't other people eating that food to gain the hundreds and hundreds of pounds that are required to... She put in the work. ...to make an Amy Schumer. Yeah. I mean, you have to be at the fucking you, buffet. You have to, yeah, you got to be talking about 30,000 calories a day, probably. Some days minimum. you wake up, you're like, I don't want to fucking do this. And you're like, right. I got to put myself in that golden corral. Mm -hmm. I got to go to that sizzler. Yeah. It's also, yeah, like she would be safe if there were another 
like God forbid another like Holocaust situation, which isn't going to happen. But if there w there was, I mean, she would be safe. Um, yeah, I mean the kind of environmental like catastrophe it would create to just to move burn her, her body. Well, even just to move that her. would punch a hole in the ozone. Yeah. that would never be repaired. They would have to get one of those. It would be like setting off of. <laughs> 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 like a million nuclear weapons. Well, they probably have to use those buildings where they build airplanes. Mm -hmm. Those buildings that are like the biggest buildings in the world. Oh, like a hangar. Like yeah, a she'd be, they could maybe incarcerate her in a hangar, but they definitely couldn't transport her across, you know, state lines or like, you know, yeah. for anything more than, you know, maybe a couple hundred feet, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. The yeah, what kind, of, what kind of train could possibly... <laughs> what kind of boxcar could possibly house such a <laughs> there's like, such, like a, <laughs> such a massive beast like a holocaust revisionist being like uh, the, the bitch too big mm -hmm. it's impossible yeah they're It'd lying be funny. it's like they, it, the holocaust happens again you see the camps being liberated uh -huh. and then like it's all these, these skinny people behind the bars and they're like oh my god they were starving all of them they're like no, no she Amy just, she, she, she just ate all the food <laughs> she was Amy, worse than the nazis she was worse than the nazis she, <laughs> she kept bossing us around and making us open for her and stealing all of our jokes and, and it was like like train wreck was kind of funny mm-hmm but yet again, it's called train wreck. And what kind of train? Yeah, what possible? What, <laughs> what how could you possibly transport? <laughs> yeah. Tra train wreck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. And that's the thing. It's like. I kind of forgot about her. And then until she's like, this. yeah, she's like telling this other lady, she's like, I'm getting death threats and all this stuff. It's like, nobody's going to act on it. You're like a protected celebrity. <laughs> the only celebrities that actually get attacked by people are like Bjork. John Lennon. Yeah, John Lennon. They're it's like, like cult of personality musician. Right. It's yeah. like psycho. It's not some like fucking privileged fatso that does like, you know, how would you even describe her comedy? Lunch break comedy, I guess. Yeah, it used to be like, um, like I went there kind of thing. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Inside Amy Schumer is funny. Yeah, it was funny because. Kurt. Well, yeah, Kurt and, and then also uh, was Jesse Klein. Funny comedy writer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there were funny people that wrote for that show. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, but how could, uh, once again, how could you possibly even attempt to get inside of her? Uh, you know? Well, through her mouth. I mean, she would eat you. The mouth, yeah. yeah. The mouth, I guess. But any of the other ports of entry. Yeah. Next to impossible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, she was like, and by the way, I'm second cousins. With Chuck Schumer. Yeah. Now, do, is there any way we could even tell if it was Amy saying all of these horribly genocidal things? Because it could have been that she just ate a Nazi in self-defense, and he's speaking from in right. her, inside of her cavernous stomach. That's a good point. She that could is just, a good point. Like the like the. Um, she could just be taking one of her like her seasonal <laughs> post feast <laughs> naps. She could be asleep she's right high, now. She's been hibernating. Well, yeah, it's October, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. The attack happened on October 7th, right? Correct. You have to imagine October 1st. So she's getting 1st, ready for winter. Uh, October yes. 1st ran, rolled around. <laughs> Amy had her usual <laughs> 8 million calorie feast. <laughs> well, you got to uh, uh, sleep. A feast of the season. Yeah, yeah. And then she fell Ooh, asleep. She had a nice one too. Surf, turf. She, yeah, had, a, she had it all. She's hibernating somewhere with her mouth open. Uh -huh. And she accidentally ate a uh, racist. Yeah. And well, people swallow how many spiders in a lifetime? Yeah. You know, at her size, she can get a whole man. Right. There's yeah. one of them living inside of her <laughs> stomach, and he's like, he's like, we need to kill all the Arabs. And people are like, Amy, how could you? Right. And maybe you guys are just fat phobic uh -huh. and yeah. haven't considered what that, she what she goes through every day. Yeah, yeah. Right. That she's just asleep, and there's a Nazi in her stomach speaking. Yeah. Hey, that that totally possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, she could have also just been like, um, you know, there could be compromise on her. You mm -hmm. know, she could have seen the wrong things, and now they took her Instagram away. You know, mm -hmm. she could have been on the island. You know, 
she, we maybe need to save Amy. Well, don't you think that the, the, either the plane would have crashed or the island would have sunk into it's the true. ocean? What she, plane? What plane? Yeah, right. What plane? <laughs> <laughs> maybe like a troop transporter kind uh, of vessel? He, he perhaps, Not even big enough. Perhaps. What, what aircraft could support that, that much mass? She could have swam there. How? With a, the a flock of other whales. They, they <laughs> would have helped her. She would have communicated with them and they would have given her directions. And the other a block of whales. <laughs> yeah, they would have all <laughs> swam there together. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think she, I think the density is like so like, I think she goes to the bottom quick. Mm-hmm. Train record was pretty good. She's fat too. I don't and know if you mentioned that. Yeah. She is. Mm-hmm. She's quite fat. Um, and we and we love her and we'd love to have her on the show anytime. Yeah, Amy. anytime. Anytime, Amy. If we could have Amy Schumer. We invite a diversity of voices. The most important, and the, the most successful female comic of all time. Yeah, it's true. If you'd like to come on the show, please. Who do. is the most successful female comic? I don't know. Joan Rivers. Our good friend Hassan, who's been going hard this entire time, still Shout, solidarity. With solidarity. Our hero. Yeah, I our mean, hero. Hassan's doing it. Say what you want about Hassan. I've said. I appreciate it. But, yeah. yeah. He does have integrity. He does. Yeah. He's, there. what's his name? Ethan Klein is mad at him or some shit, right? Yeah. But, I mean, Ethan's like, isn't he, know. isn't Ethan Israeli? And his wife, too. His yeah. wife's Israeli. Yeah. You, get, you get, there's more of a pass for that. Yeah, if you, yeah, your family's there. Right. Amy yeah. Schumer's just some fucking, just like, celebrity pig from Long Island. Right. Sorry. I know that that's... Yeah. That may be a little hard, but it's like she doesn't, what, like, you know, I don't know. That might be a little hard as opposed to the thing we were saying before. <laughs> <laughs> saying she's from Long Island, that, that, that's a trope, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a trope. It's an anti, uh, it's an anti. She's making it about herself, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't know really. It know. is what the Amer- I really don't know anything In about. In general, it. the American Jewish community that's what we do when it comes to Israel. We right. make it about ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And like, people die because of that. Like, right. It is a bloody conflict that we like, uh, mm-hmm. we're like, we are facing the eradication of our, like, our, our species. Yeah. It's like, yeah. like, I think the Iraq war was bad, right? I think it was a uh-huh. mistake. I, I waited for it. that to play out before I took and it. And we, we killed a lot of people we shouldn't have. Yeah. If I was speaking to somebody that was, in a, like was in Fallujah, yes, and was shot at, and fucking like, yeah. then probably I wouldn't be like, you're a fucking baby killer. <laughs> it's like this person probably already has PTSD. They did that in Vietnam. I thought I yeah. thought that part was pretty rude. It is pretty fucked up. And yeah, also, those there's, guys like saw. There's hell. also the aspect of of you know like at, at what point do you not have like a choice? Because I mean, every, in Israel, everybody's conscripted. They all fucking have to. Right. Send in them. the U.S., we send poor people. Yeah. 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 Who like basically need a job, um, and then they get cheated on mm-hmm. by fat women, right? And then they default on their uh, their what do you call it? Their uh, charger payments. The rascal scooter. No, they, don't they get chargers? They all get chargers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is. I had a string of of car rentals where I was being. Given those. Oh, uh, today's episode is also brought to you by MyBookie. MyBookie. Dot my, AG. MyBookie.ag. We don't have the copy today. There is no copy. I was told to just riff on... Shout out to Joey. To Guys. To Joey. I was told to riff on, on, on Bitcoin, I guess. I don't know if that's a fucking... What that has to do with... I don't know anything about that. I guess you can use it to bet there on MyBookie.ag. Bet on anything, anytime, anywhere. Your first deposit bonus cash up to $200. Guys. They have tons of welcome bonuses, casino bonuses. You can bet with Bitcoin. Let's say, let's say you want to go to the casino. You can play table games. They have a live casino, which means you can see a hot chick deal your cards on a computer screen, which is fucking sick. Also, if there's any, uh, this is okay. No, finish the read, and then I'll, I, I, have, no read. I have a couple just, of public requests because. The, like we said, the Adam Friedland show is failing. Uh, I just said actively. I said precipitously. People, failing. people have been going a little too hard. Let's get through the read because I'd like to talk about that for a second. Okay, so. yeah, let's get to this. I, I feel like um, I should just share with you guys. You could, you could. 
uh, engage in uh, live betting, which means that during a game, the odds adjust, and let's say you made a bad pick, you could, you could double down when you see the way it's playing out. That's what I like to do. I like to see how it plays out. Uh, you go to the casino. They have great games like Blackjack, Super Golden Dragon Inferno. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Uh, the Greatest Catch. Look, it's like an old man and fish. That's kind of nice, Nick. Mm-hmm. Uh, April Fury and the Changer, Chamber of Scarabs. She is dressed a little bit like a... Is that what, like a, Harry, like a slutty Harry Potter no, thing? No, it's like a slutty Indiana Jones. Look at her cans, dude. Look at them damn... She I can't died. see my eyesight. Dude, look how worse. great of a rack she has. That cartoon bitch. Uh, it's all right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they have an Irish one, pot of gold. That's for Nick. Uh, anyway, guys, they got great games. Uh, also, guys, they have um, uh, what is that? That that thing where you could pick a. <laughs> that thing you do. That thing you do. Great song. Doing great movie. That thing you do. do. I want to the, the bet on my bookie. Dot A-G, Dot A-G, it's true. And it tell them that the Taft sent you. You Dot get a. a welcome bonus. T-A-F-S. T-A-F-S, betting that game you do. Mm-hmm. All right, that's a good read, right? Yeah. Promo code T-A-F-S, yeah, what, what, What's A-G. coming up that you can bet on? I guess just uh, football right now, huh? Just football right now. They just had the big Tyson Hockey. Fury fight. Hockey, too, right? I thought Nganu got, got fucking robbed. Nganu. Nganu. Uh, oh, this guy's an Nganu. Yeah, I, th- I thought that was bullshit. It was a, obviously... Lost Lona. by decision? It was by decision, but he, was ro- he rocked Tyson. And mm-hmm. I'm a Tyson guy. I'm a Tyson. I'm a Gypsy King fan. Yeah, that's but, the Fetterman style, man. Right. He's kind of Fetterman style. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit Fetterman style. Yeah. But he's awesome. He's like, I'm a gypsy. I can't read. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm fat. Yeah. I can't read. It's a, Fetterman's going hard for Israel, and it's like. Well, he's Jewish. But do you think they would let him the, in there? Israel? Yeah. What do you mean? Like to visit? I mean, he's kind of like a freak. They let him in Congress. Yeah, I know, but they have no choice. America is like pro freak now. I think they have some freaks over there. I don't think. I don't think. I think that them boys got a little bit of freaks. I don't know. Actually. A guy like Fetterman. I don't know. That monster. Just him showing up at the airport, being like, "I'm one of you." They'd be like, "This is fucking. It's a little bad for business." Yeah. Why are Why are people particularly mad at him and not the rest of the government? Um, because I mean, he was like a like one of these like progressive Bernie. guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then that, I think did he present this, himself as pro Palestine? There's this thing going on with like, because a lot of I guess our time. I mean, we checked out. We didn't care. I, and I was never even. I I liked Bernie, but I was only voting for Bernie Sanders because of like the, the healthcare. You were thing. in love with him. I was in love with him. No, okay. because of the like Classic all I all I, can, I all I really give a fuck about is healthcare. We're not getting it. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So. And you're in love with Bernie. Whatever. So I'm checked out. Right, but um, you know, I I don't like the the squad came around, yeah, and then there was all of these like uh, like I don't know. I guess they called them post left. I you know I really don't know too much about what uh-huh. these terms mean. You know, these people that hate AOC or uh, what Rashida is Tlaib post or, left is right? No, I don't know what it, they're just mad at everybody. It's like they the, the Jimmy Dore thing, but they don't like they don't like the squad because the squad didn't do. Like force the vote. That was one thing they What's had. Pro- the vote? They had an opportunity to force a vote on health care that would have made it so that Nancy Pelosi had to call a vote for universal health care. No, they didn't do it. And they didn't do it or something. I don't know. You know why? About that. Yeah. Probably on their but period. the Fetterman thing, what's that? They're on their period. Yeah, maybe they were ha ha ha. Can you not just, just not be a misogynist for like five minutes? I'm sorry to the girls. Yeah. I well, apologize to women. Any woman that was listening to that, it was vile. Anyways, as far as yeah. I've seen, which would throw kind of like, a, like, there is a theory that AOC at least is just a, like a CIA plant because she, you know, um, okay. did that, was it USAID? Is that what that is? 
I don't know. The, it's like a. I thought she was a bartender. A front for the CIA in college. She did something like that. You could say that you know I don't know these people, but she I don't know she seems to be criticizing this. Uh, yeah, the squad is being chill. They're being chill about it. Rashida Tlaib's awesome, I think. Yeah, I don't know if that has anything to do with the Fetterman hate, but uh, I guess definitely. But a lot of that. it wasn't that he presented himself as pro like Palestine or whatever, and then he he didn't go back on anything he said he was right. No, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, so why him? Why not everyone in the government? Because they're not, like, I mean, most of them are, like, the, even, like, Nikki Haley is the only, like, neocon that's really getting shit. And even that, I don't even know. Yeah, she wants to make, like, citizens. I mean, her, she's crazy. She wants to have a council But that's of what elders. Nikki Haley is, is she's just a fucking, like. A, I miss that. She's just a, a Republican goon that's like, yeah, it's like, vote for me so that I can give as much money to Wall Street and the military industrial complex yeah. as possible. Cheney style. Yeah, I mean, she goes on the news and she's I like. I love that. She's like, we should be fully supporting Israel's genocide in Palestine mm-hmm. and not mm-hmm. questioning them at all and write, writing them a blank check to do it. And we should hire a private mercenary and force. And they're, right, and they're. To support, we should hire Blackwater. Yeah, yeah. And you'll like ask her, you know, it's like, well, uh, do you think this is bad, what they're doing? Mm-hmm. And she'll just be like, well, I think that bad things are good. <laughs> That's <laughs> like cool. Like, yeah. Cheney I mean, style. Right. Yeah. And I mean, she, she goes pretty far. And I, from what I see, that seems to be the only person that's even getting any kind of like, uh-huh. criticism. Yeah. Unless you're Jewish, in which case then the right will be like, oh, well, I see where your loyalties actually lie. You know, and then they turn it into an anti-Semitic thing. Yeah. Like they did with Ben Shapiro. And yeah. It's like, you know, Ben Shapiro doesn't. I mean, maybe a little bit because he's Jewish. He's like hard for Israel, but it's really it's just because he's a he's a neocon. He's, he's, well, yeah, he's a piece of shit, you know, weasel with the worst politics you can possibly have. Yeah, he's 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 kind of cooking right now. Is he? Yeah, every one of those videos. I'm watching. He's talking him. faster and faster in every one. That's what every time I, I see him. Him. Right. Anytime I see him, I'm like, do they fucking speed up? He's his... gonna explode at some point. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. some point, he's gonna go supersonic. Mm-hmm. He's gonna go full Ben. Yeah. Anyway, what do you want to say during the read, though? Oh yeah. Well, a couple things with the show failing. I guess we're gonna have to go back to being guys that uh, appreciate their audience more. Right. We've been trying to get away from that for a while to insulate ourselves from. The audience, so but what do we have with to the do? show failing, we're gonna have to be like, uh, we're like, so grateful for you guys. And oh yeah, we're so. We're gonna have to open the DMs back up and yeah. just pitch ourselves as a couple of regular fellas. We're just like that are yeah. just so grateful for how lucky we are that we get the fucking. Yeah. We'll do a fuck a fan challenge. That we get the podcast, and uh, but would, I do I do have if any of you are uh, like uh, computer guys, like uh, uh-huh. like uh, uh, developers. Oh, cool. I guess Apple has this workout kit now, and what I'm looking to do is, because there's no way to just do it on the phone, but I guess there's some indicator. I don't want to get into the weeds, because I did learn how to write that iPad app to make the Stav soundboard. Years. Oh, that's cool, yeah. Yeah, but I want something, I want to I want to have like a custom workout on the watch, specifically for like, Zone for zone training. No, uh-huh. this is the request. Is you got it. You really got to just use your listening skills more. I, that was the last thing you said. I thought it was connected to like, oh, I'm we're gonna make an app where you can work out with Nick because we're nice to the fans. That's not what I'm saying now. at all. I'm saying if there is somebody, let me know if this is possible, and if so, how I would go about doing it. Yep. Yeah, so get get at Nick. Get at Ginsburg. Please send get Ginsburg at Ginsburg. Email. Get at Ginsburg or Adam Friedland. No, 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 no. Uh, they I will filter the responses to make sure that I only get what I want. Yes. But I, what, I, what I want <laughs> is to, <laughs> to begin just a custom workout on the watch that allows me to do specifically zone training. Is it an app just for you or you think you're going to make like maybe a million, it two million dollars? It is just for me. I will not be oh. released. No, this is not, it's not an app. You it's just want your phone to work for you in the way you want it there, to work. There... Yes, I want the watch to do. God damn it! What's wrong? You're because you're not. Li- you ask questions that are fucking wrong. <laughs> you ask them. You ask the wrong 
questions. I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm just, I'm, I'm not a smart person. I'm not a very smart person. If you were like, let's, this is the equivalent of that. Let's say you were like, hey, everybody, uh, I'm making breakfast tomorrow, and I'm going to try and make French toast. So I want to know, I'm like, you're going to France? You want the audience to go to France? We'll let the audience decide. Have you, what do you we'll mean? Let the audience You're decide. making your own bread? We'll let the audience decide if my question Wait, was Wait, hold like on. That. French people don't make their own bread. Yes, you want to make do. French bread? They make pan de chocolate. You want to make they French make, bread? They make French shit. They have and bread so what? French You're French bread. sending French bread they to make the baguettes. audience? You can't even get through a fucking with this fucking guy. I just asked. You said you want to make an app. I said, is it an app I don't even want to make an app. I didn't say I want to make an app. <laughs> I said in the new iOS that destroyed my message history. Uh-huh. And I checked. I thought it was just the phone. I took the iPad because yeah. I use iMessage and iCloud on yeah. that. Yeah. And I said, they said, oh, well, you can try resetting. So I reset that. Guess where all the fucking, now the messages are gone from the iPad as oh well. Oh, my God. And there's shit in there that's important. Yeah. I have, I go, I have six years of, hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you too. And that's it. With my stepsister, You'll it goes back it a, again? A, de- a decade of that being the only chat, <laughs> only chat history, is just once a year checking in, and that's gone. But no, I don't know that, no, that I, poor I, guy that Gabe. That that uh, you know Gabe, who invited us to the David Blaine party. Yeah, we met David Blaine. It was the best we met night David of my life. Blaine. It was that the best night of my life. I keep it by my my it was the best night of my life. I keep it by my. Uh, Nightstand. He's real magic. He's also real magic, guys. I, keep, I swear to God. I keep on my nightstand the, the, the playing card that David Blaine gave me. Wow. It was so cool. Um, anyway, uh, let's, let's finish our day's work. I have to go to the airport. All right. Well, I got to fucking think about, like, what I was saying. Yeah, if there's a way to so do if, a, to shut up. All right. I'm, I'm. If there is a way to make a workout where, so basically. Zone, zone. Oh was, my God, dude. Oh my fucking God. All right, dude. Just you say it. I'm not even going to All right, well, interrupt. thanks for. Thanks no, no, for, you tell it. Thanks for you watching tell it the Adam to them. Friedland show this week, guys. Uh, if you like the show, you want to help us continue our, our dream, maybe get trained. like a new cable for what is whatever needs about? to be fixed, uh, please How check out patreon.com slash TAFS. Say the new episode's coming out. You're still on mic. They can hear you. Oh, okay. Bye.